Hey everybody, welcome to the Hamakua Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany and today we are water bath canning. Today's recipe is not approved, although it is a very, very similar to a lot of different recipes, one of which I got from the Ball website. But if you're looking for a the but if you're looking for a tested and approved recipe, this is uh -oh. not the one. So you're gonna start off with juicing your oranges. I started with three cups of orange juice with the pulp. Go ahead and put your orange juice into a pot along with two cups of water. Then bring this up to a boil, then reduce the heat and simmer until it's reduced by half. No idea why we need to do that. No idea. Now you go ahead and add, go ahead, wow. Go ahead, how many times do I say go ahead? Go ahead and add your half a cup of diced onions. Simmer for 10 minutes. Then go ahead. After the onions are soft, you can go ahead and... After your onions are soft, go ahead and add in the rest of your ingredients. One and one quarter cup brown sugar. three quarters of a cup of white sugar, a third of a cup of honey, one and a quarter tablespoons of mustard seed, grated fresh ginger, and soy sauce dark soy sauce. A, <clears throat> a heaping quarter of a tablespoon black pepper. A heaping half tablespoon of chili flakes. Two thirds cup of apple cider vinegar. And a heaping half teaspoon of Chinese five spice. Simmer for 15 minutes. After your 15 minutes is up, go ahead and use your immersion blender or a regular blender and blender if that's what you have. Go ahead and go ahead. Go ahead and blend it up and you can leave a few chunks for texture if you prefer. Now it's time to go ahead and jar it up. Go ahead and jar it up. You can do this recipe in pints, quarter pints, or half pints but you're going to do it for the same time, regardless of what size jar you use. Fill up each of your jars to a quarter head, quarter, eh. fill up your jars to a quarter inch head space. Make sure you clean your rims very, very well. I'm using white distilled vinegar because this is a sticky concoction. Place your lids. and your rings fingertip tight. Go ahead and place these, in, every sentence I say, I say go ahead. Place these in your water bath canner. Wait for it to come up to a full rolling boil. After it's at a full rolling boil, go ahead. After it's at a full rolling boil, set your timer for 20 minutes. And now you're all set. You have all, you have your jars of orange, spicy, orange, orange. And that's all there is to it. Now you have these jars of spicy orange marinade to put up on your pantry shelf. Go ahead and leave them set here on the counter for about 24 hours to make sure they're sealed. Go ahead and take the rings off, wash the jars, label them, and put them on your pantry shelf.
Thank you so much for joining me today on the Hamakua Homestead. I'll see you again soon. Just kidding. I think I'm gonna bring you back and um, we'll do a taste test and we'll show you how to use it. How about that? We're about to find out. You can definitely taste the orange. I like it. It's not spicy. If you wanted more spice, add more of the chili flakes um, for sure. But it is really good. It's got kind of like a zesty orange flavor, but it is kind of sweet, but I don't know. Kind of savory. Well, that's pretty darn good. I will definitely be trying this and similar recipes to this in the future. Again, if you want it spicy, add more of the chili flakes, but this is definitely a winner if you ask me. I love that orange flavor and it goes really well with the chicken. I would definitely also try it with pork as well. I think that would be really good. Well, that's going to do it for today, you guys. I hope this inspires you guys to figure out different marinades and sauces that you can can up. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Hamakua Homestead. I'll see you again soon.